What's up everybody? Coach Pat coming at you with another pros and cons video and today we're going to be discussing the electric shaver. Hi, hello and what's up YouTubers? Welcome to PC by CP or pros and cons by Coach Pat where I give you real life evaluations on everyday products. If you enjoy my videos, hit that like button and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. So, this particular model, electric razor, Remington R405 if I'm not mistaken, but I will put the exact model down below in the description. And let's get to the pros. Pros, number one, obvious, it's electric razor. Um, this one, you can pull the cable, but it's not battery operated. Uh, so you have to use it directly to the outlet if you want to shave. Uh, I bought this one on purpose like that because I had another electric razor. I've had a few of them uh, that were battery operated. And after you have them for like nine months, the battery starts to kind of, you know, you know, die out on you. So you hear the difference when the motor's running. It kind of like seems like it's just dying out on you. And the other one, you feel it because it's taking you a little longer to shave. So that's why I got this one like this. And I'm telling you, I love it. I know this it's lacking a few things that you want, you know, the portability, but for me, this is a pro. The other pro is, you know, the cost. 20 bucks, 19.99, believe I bought it on eBay. Um, I don't know if they have this exact same model. I've had it for about a year. Um, so 20 bucks, you can't beat that. Compared to even uh, razor blades, you're gonna spend more than 20 bucks a year. So um, the razors uh, inside are still sharp. Uh, even after a year so you know for 20 bucks again you can't beat it and even if I have to buy these replacements it'll last and I don't have to worry about the battery dying out on me so definitely another pro on that one and the third probably the most important pro is you know when you use those you know blades you get that rash you get that irritation you get that redness you get that blood, you get all those cuts, all that stuff. Well, you're not gonna get any with these. So definitely it's the most obvious um, pro. They're very comfortable. Um, when it shaves, it shaves smooth and you're not gonna get as many. You're, you're, you know, some people have very sensitive skin down here or in other places. For me, it's all down here. Um, but with the razor blade, huge difference between all the bumps and all the cuts and blood and all that good stuff that I have with the razor blades. Uh, another pro is that it is comfortable. So it's got a good grip and it's not too heavy, not too light. It feels like it's well made. So those are my pros. And now to the cons. We've got to have some cons, right? If not, it would be the perfect product. And I don't know if there's anything out there like that that's the perfect product, especially for $19.99. But wait, there's more. No. The, <laughs> the, the cons, cons, these uh, three blades that it has, um, they don't reach all the way to the edge of the, uh, of the head of this thing. So when you're trying to shave the upper part of your mustache, like right underneath your nose, I'm not picking at anything right now. At least I hope it doesn't seem like it, but some of you guys know when you're shaving it, uh, it's kind of hard to shave those areas with these type of uh, blades, but if you kind of push up into your nose, you'll reach. So it's, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's not that bad. With the razor blades, it's definitely a little bit more accurate and you can reach into all these little places and kind of, you know, cut. But uh, again, <laughs> I like this one. So it is one of the cons though. The other con, um, at least for me, these electric razors take a little longer to shave than a regular uh, razor blade. So I've never, you know, you know, put a timer on it and see how much time I'm saving through, you know, on a shave. Um, but it does take a little longer. So uh, just so you guys know, that's a little side note. Um, pretty sure all you guys know that if you have a uh, clean razor blade or an electric shaver, it's going to work better. So just make sure you clean it after every shave. Um, it's pretty easy. This one just press the button, pops open. Um, you have a little brush that comes with it and you can clean it out pretty good. If you remove the top part, 
You can actually put it under the uh, sink and kind of wash it down with a little water or a little pressure from the water and it'll clean it even better. Once it dries, you pop it back in. Please do not put this on the water. <laughs> Just this part. <laughs> so, um, obviously those are the pros and the cons. And as another side note, um, I know some people like the battery thing that is more portable. For me, it, it, I didn't want that. The other thing that you can get if you're uh, shopping for one of these, even for your ladies, you might be trying to get one for your husband, your boyfriend, I don't know, your father. So even for your ladies, these are maybe things to consider, right? The battery, um, some of these you can uh, shave in the shower. I personally don't like that because even though I have the mirror in the shower, it's all foggy so you can't see anything anyways. So I just wait until I'm outside and after I'm done brushing my teeth or something like that and, and I'll shave outside. But those are little features that you have. And I think most of them have this, you know, the trimmer in the back. Um, I don't really use it that often, um, mostly for my uh, right here. But again, those are little add-ons that maybe some of them have or some of them have better than others. But again, for 20 bucks, man, I really like this one. And if you're, you know, if you're in, uh, trying to buy one of these, pretty good deal. So hopefully, you enjoyed the video and I was able to uh, guide you a little bit if you are shopping for one of these. Again, if you like it, hit that thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.